Hello, this is Miles from Represent, and in this video I'll show you the fastest way to get started with Represent API Studio. Represent API Studio supports two API description languages, the OpenAPI specification and RapidML. The OpenAPI specification, based on Swagger, is the industry standard for API definitions, and RapidML is the native API description format for API Studio, with unique and innovative capabilities in data standardization and collaboration. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Swagger. I'll begin by loading an example project, and once I've shown you around this, I'll generate some stuff that will serve as inputs for a full service implementation. The example projects demonstrate different features of Swagger and RapidML. I recommend you take a look at them all. But for this video, I'll use the pet store example, which is the simplest one in the list. The other examples elaborate on this one. The pet store example describes an API for working with records describing the animals stocked by a pet store. Now that the example has loaded, let's take a look and see what we've got. In the middle is the Swagger API model, opened in a custom editor, with syntax highlighting, on-the-fly validation, and code assist. And on the left, we have the Project Explorer, which shows the contents of our represent project. The API model is here, and this folder contains what we call gen targets for generating different kinds of outputs from the model, and I'll come back to these later. Below this, we have the outline view, which shows the structure of the API model and provides one way of navigating it. Now that we've seen these views, I'll minimize them to give us more room to see the other features. We can still access them easily when needed, like this. On the right, we have the diagram view, generated dynamically from the API model in the Active Editor. This provides another way of navigating and understanding our model. It shows the resources in our API and how these are structured. Behind this is the documentation view, with end-user documentation also generated dynamically from the Active model. And finally, we have the Swagger UI view, which enables us to explore and exercise the active model when the mock service is running. This example model defines a collection resource and an object resource. The collection resource has two methods, one for adding new types of pet and another for listing them. The object resource has one method for getting details for a specific type of pet. Each resource includes example message data for documentation purposes. This also comes in handy when we use the mock service to try out the API. And message schemas are defined in the definitions section here. You can start a mock service for the model like this. And you can try the API using Swagger UI like this. Having explored and sandbox tested the model, Let's finish off by generating some outputs from it. Represent API Studio has a number of built-in generators, or gen targets. These can be run from the Generate menu. You can easily define new generators yourself, and even chain them together to create advanced solutions. We can see which gen targets have already been added to the project by looking in the Generate drop-down menu. We can add more via the File menu. You can see the full list available here, which includes everything from the Swagger CodeGen project on GitHub. Gen targets for some of these generators have been added automatically to our example project. We can run them individually from the drop-down menu here, or from the Project Explorer like this. We can also run them all simply by clicking here. The outputs for a gen target appear in the generated subfolder of each gen target folder. These generated outputs can be handed off to developers so that they can create and document the service implementation. In the Help menu, you'll find a quick reference card, and we recommend you use this as a guide to the functions and features of API Studio. Thanks for watching this quick overview of Represent API Studio. For more detailed information on the subjects I've covered here, please see the other videos in this series.